Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Uh, we're going to be doing a resin painting today on this canvas. Um, I have pre-painted it with the black base tint from Stone Coat Countertops. And I will be using these mica powders from Stone Coat Countertops. The bronze metallic, dark red metallic, gold metallic, black metallic, white metallic. As well as the white base tint and the black base tint. Um, under this black, you'll probably see a little yellow peeking through. I did previously paint it with yellow acrylic and then decided to go over that. And we will be using the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat Resin. The resin is mixed up. There's part A and part B. The B is the hardener, and those are mixed 50-50. And then it is 10 parts resin to one part whatever coloring is being used. So I'm going to get that all mixed up and then we'll be right back. All right, so we've got all our colors mixed up now. Um, this is the metallic red. It is gorgeous. The metallic white, which looks like pearl. Then we've got the gold. There we go. And this one forgive me, is the bronze metallic. That's what I thought. Bronze metallic. What I love about these colors is they're all just so, like, rich. This is the black metallic, which looks like gunmetal, slate gray. And then we've got the black base coat and the white base coat. So this is going to be definitely different from the pores I normally do because if you've watched any of my videos, you see that I normally do a lot of blues, <laughs> um, and I haven't done a resin with these colors before, so. Um, and I didn't say it before, but this black I painted on a previous day, so it's totally dry. And actually, real quick before I get started, I am gonna spray the back of this with water, and that is to just, in a new, fresh time here, tighten up the canvas. So, for anyone who doesn't know, that's a little trick you can use to tighten up a canvas. All right, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start with the white base coat here. And I am kind of going for kind of a bit of a cool stone look, I think. But we'll see what happens. All right, and this is the black. I definitely don't want this to be too dark, so I'm not going to use a ton of the darker colors. All right, here is the metallic white. Let's see, go across here. Okay. And let's get in here with some of that metallic red which I just really love this color. So beautiful. Okay. And we'll go in here with the bronze. And a little bit of the metallic black. All right, I'm going to go in here with the rest of my metallic white, and then I'm going to start manipulating this around. I'm going to use the heat gun, so I will give you guys a volume warning, um, you know, for anyone that doesn't like listening to the heat gun. And that warning is now, so turn your volume down if you do not want to listen to the heat gun, because it's going on. Here we go.
are so good. Just move it around a little bit more here. Um, and you can probably notice how much more fluid it is after it gets heated up. That's kind of the point. Okay. Good. So I'm going to get in here with some more white. metallic red over here just a smidge and then we're gonna do some of the metallic black over here all right and then I'm gonna go through this a couple points with some more black so I think that creates definitely a lot of interest Okay, and then there's, you know, actually I'm going to do a little more of antique bronze. And then I'm going to use the one color that I haven't used yet, which is the gold. So I kind of wanted to wait to make sure that this went in the exact places I wanted it to. All right, good. So once again, heat gun warning. If you'd like, turn your volume down now, because the heat gun is going to go on. At this point, it's basically just manipulating it around until, until we're happy with it. All right, I'm going to add a little more color over here. I think I will actually get in there with a little bit of the gold. Um, and let's get in there a little more of the red. Okay, then I kind of want to go through here maybe with one more thing of black. Let's see. You know what? No, I like it. I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm just going to help this along on some of the edges here. And then I'm going to tilt probably one more time. I'm not super worried about it because obviously I painted the whole thing black. 
So even if there are parts that I missed a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Okay, not quite happy with how this is blending over here. So I'm going to help it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here with the heat gun once more. All right, there we go. Okay, I am now officially happy with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and torch this whole thing very well. And then I will bring you guys all in for a close up. So we will be right back. All right, bringing you guys in for the close-up here. Trying to get as much glare out of there as possible. All right, so starting with the lower right-hand corner, as usual, got some really cool cells in there. You can see all the metallics. And this part I love. That's why I just manipulated it around with the um, heat gun. So that made this really cool patterns throughout there. And then the upper right hand corner. I love this black throughout there. Um, let's go across the top here. Lots of depth in this painting. So upper left hand corner. And then we have this gold going across the middle there. And then let's go across the bottom here. Lots of fun cells on the bottom. I kind of ended up accidentally getting a bit of like leopard print. And let's give you the overall look. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe. And coming up I will be doing some more in-depth tutorials on resin. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.